the full moon blossoms are huge this month. These will be perfect for Hilda's potions. I should preserve a few for her to turn into jewelry, though. Some of you are just too pretty to use. Wait a second. What's that shadow over there? Oh, a person? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I excuse me, traveler. I didn't expect to see anyone in these woods. This is so late. I, I... I... I don't think they're moving. Are they asleep? Are they even breathing? Oh, no, oh, no. What am I going to do with a corpse? Oh, I wish I could ask Yuri. He'd know what to do. Wait, that necklace. Is that a mockingbird? Yuri? No, no, it's not his necklace. This is the one he gives to friends. But that means... Why would someone Yuri marked be lying unconscious in my woods? Did he bring them here? Oh, I don't know that I'm the right person to help with this. But it's the full moon. And if he left them here, he must think I can do something. Okay. The least I can do is get you inside. A quick levitating spell should be enough to carry you back to my cottage. for injuries, but I couldn't find anything too dangerous. You had a lot of scrapes on your arms and legs, especially around your ankles and wrists. N no, I didn't check under your clothes. I used a spell to scan you for injuries. <laughs> now you probably think I'm a creep. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Bernadetta. I'm I'm a I'm a oh, witch. Don't kill me. Why would you? Well, because humans are always trying to hunt down witches, except for those Black Eagle rebels. But don't even try to tell me you're part of the Black Eagles. I may live in a hut in the woods, but I have friends nearby who go into town all the time, so I know the news. You aren't dressed like a rebel soldier at all. I wouldn't even have brought you into my cottage if it weren't for that mockingbird necklace. You'll have to thank Yuri next time he comes by. You don't know him, but then... Why would he mark you? Are you sure you've never met anyone else wearing a necklace like that one? That's weird. Yuri never helps humans without a good reason. Unless... Wait, open your mouth again. I thought I saw... Fangs! You're not human! It doesn't scare me more. I'm equally afraid of you now. I'm equally afraid of anyone who might be dangerous. Yeah, 
right. Anyone can say they mean you no harm. All that proves is you want me to calm down and let my guard drop. I'm not falling for it. You are staying right there in that bed or I'll... I'll... conjure a muzzle on you. Yes, there are spells for that, and I know how to use them. One of the women who first helped me when I escaped into the woods is a werewolf, so I'm well prepared to deal with you. Well, even if you're not a werewolf, it should still work. But... What are you? And what happened to you? When Yuri saved me, he brought me straight to Hilda and Marianne. So why would he just leave you in our forest without a word? Escaped? From what? <gasps> then all these scrapes? They're from being chained up? That's horrible! Humans are so horrible! It wasn't humans. Vampires? But why would they... A damp here? You're half human. They were ashamed to call you their own. I... I can relate to that. Well, it's a bit of a long story. We should probably treat your wounds while we talk. I actually, um, I made an ointment while you were sleeping. Yeah, it's all natural, with a little bit of a healing spell added in for extra effect. I find that magically grown ingredients are more potent in healing than just magic itself. I make a lot of salves and things for my friend Hilda. She's the werewolf I mentioned. Well, my story starts a bit before her. With Yuri, actually. This shouldn't sting, but it does get pretty warm while it's working. Are you ready? Okay, then give me your left arm, please. I was actually born to human parents. Yeah. They say these days it's pretty common. The casting ability skips a few generations, and sometimes it comes out weak. So if conditions are just right, you could go centuries without realizing you have it in your family. That was the case for me. My father is a noble. Of a smaller house, mind you. I'm his only daughter. So, I was our ticket to moving up in status. He... He didn't care about me beyond that. He raised me like livestock. They fed off of you? That's horrible. Their own child? I'm so sorry. Y you shouldn't be apologizing to me. Nothing I went through was so... Well, they never chained me up like this. They only tied me to chairs with rope, or forced me to stand with books balanced on my head for hours, not... Is it really the same?
Um, well, the salve is set here, so we should move on to your right arm. Thank you. Right, my story. I presented my magic early, but my parents had me hide it. If the Dragon Queen found out that my human parents had a monster for a daughter, she'd take me away and send me to live with the other monsters, like she does with everyone else. To preserve her hierarchy, monsters and humans have to be separated. My father didn't want to lose his only daughter, and my magic wasn't very strong, so... We kept it hidden. It's not so hard as hiding lycanthropy or vampirism, you know? Some monsters have it easier than others. Yuri can come and go through the human world as he pleases, so long as he isn't recognized. Not that it's hard to hide his identity, since he's a shapeshifter. That's why I asked if you were sure you didn't recognize the necklace. He always wears a mockingbird symbol so his friends can find him. Okay, your arms are good. Would you like me to use this on your ankles, too? Sure, I don't mind at all. Oh, we built this cottage. Marianne, Hilda, and me. That's getting ahead, though. Back when I was living with my family, my father threw a banquet. It was meant to be my entry into society, announcing to all our noble neighbors that I was now fit for marriage. By that, they meant I was old enough. My father still scolded me all the time for all the mistakes I was making in household chores and other domestic duties. The truth is, I'm just terrible at everything. Completely unmarriageable. Just like my powers, we had to keep that hidden, at least until after the wedding. He said maybe once I'd had a baby with my new husband, whatever's broken in me would snap into place. I... I don't know. Hilda says that, too. She thinks there are different kinds of women, and she's always telling me it's okay to not be good at being a wife, but I just don't know. Hmm. Yes. That night, at the banquet. I messed up. Oh, I still get so embarrassed when I think about it. I'm a complete idiot. We had this garden of carnivorous plants, and I stepped outside to get some fresh air partway through the banquet. I really thought I was all alone. Creepy? Hmm, I think they're cute. I loved working in that garden seeing how well my little plant friends were growing. I even begged Hilda to buy me some seeds once I settled here. See that one, over there, with the cute little tubes? That's a pitcher plant. They attract their prey with sweet nectar inside their cup-shaped leaves, then dissolve them in... What? Why are you looking at me like that? It's not cruel, it's just nature. A anyway, we've gotten off topic. This ankle should be finished now. May I see your other one? Right. I went out into the garden, and I noticed one of my favorite fly traps was drooping a bit. It was a really tiny spell to help her out. I'd cast it loads of times before. 
but I didn't realize one of the visiting suitors had followed me outside. He said he wanted the chance to talk to me alone, to see what I was really like when our parents weren't all watching. But what he saw instead was my secret. After that, he ran inside and told everyone. The visiting nobles got mad and accused my father of trying to cheat them. My father had to save his reputation, so he told everyone he hadn't known that I was keeping it secret from even my family. Then he... He had to show the nobles he was on their side, so he... He ordered the guards to kill me. It's not the worst thing he's done. It would have been quick, at least. I'm no match for knights. I wouldn't have gotten out of there if it weren't for Yuri. We'd met before in childhood, but he was taken away when people realized he was a shapeshifter. I thought he lived with the other monsters, or didn't make it. But when I was running for my life away from my own guards, one of the suitors tugged me suddenly behind a pillar and showed me his mockingbird pin. I recognized it immediately. That feels better, doesn't it? I'm so glad. Those scrapes should heal in a few hours. Oh, it's not really that impressive. I'm sure a more talented witch could heal them on the spot. Your heritage helps too. I'm barely doing any of the work. How did we get out? Yuri showed me a gap in the wall around our manor. From there, he led me into the forest. And we ran and ran all night long. It was terrifying. But the look of determination in his eyes helped me push through. I knew he would get us to safety. Eventually, we came up on a cabin not far from here. That was where I met Hilda and Marianne. Yuri explained everything to them, and they quickly took me in. I owe them all my life. Hilda and Marianne let me live with them for a season while we worked on building this little cottage. Sometimes the two of them go into town for supplies and, well, in Hilda's case, gossip. But my father has put up wanted posters all over the empire, so I have to rely on them for anything I can't find out here in the forest. That's how we heard about the rebellion against the Dragon Queen. I haven't seen Yuri at all since it started. No, he's never brought someone to me for help before. Like I said, when he saved me, he brought me straight to Hilda and Marianne. I don't know why he would leave you in the woods instead of coming to my cottage. It's lucky I was gathering moon blossoms tonight, or I might not have even found you. I don't know. I think you'd have to ask Hilda or Marianne if you want to know more. I met Yuri when we were children, but for most of my life, we were apart. He's very different as an adult. I just can't guess what he's thinking. But maybe they can. Whoa, whoa, don't get up now! You can't go and see them tonight! Well, because it's the full moon, for one thing, 
Hilda is in no state to take guests, and Marianne is working her hardest to keep her under control. Vampire or not, if you go out to their side of the woods, you could die. Besides, it's clear you're exhausted after what you've been through. Do you... Do you eat normal food? I do have a stew brewing on the stove. <sighs> Please don't worry about that. There's plenty to share. I'm just relieved you don't have to drink my blood. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, I guess. Lay back. You still look exhausted. And it'll be another half hour before dinner is ready. Why don't you get some rest and let your body heal? You've been through a lot. Of course. I'll be here when you wake up.